Welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to fit a correlation matrix, or really any table in the SPSS output, to fit to one page. Uh, now, if you have any experience with SPSS, you may have noticed that when you print out your output, uh, a lot of the um, a lot of the output tables end up spliced or separated into several pages, and um, not only is this an enormous amount of uh, waste in terms of paper, and I suspect on a worldwide basis. Uh, the amount of wasted paper that uh, is a result of the split output format in SPSS is you know, enormous. Uh, it's also um, difficult to look at some output tables meaningfully when you have to look across several pieces of paper and I see people literally uh, tape pieces of paper together um, so that they can look at a, a square correlation matrix. And there's no need to do that in a lot of cases uh, because you can fit a correlation matrix, you can force SPSS to fit a correlation matrix or any output to one page. And I'll show you how to do that. So here we've got, uh, I'm just going to create a correlation matrix that is excessively large for SPSS's default uh, standards for printing output. And I'll, this is a 20 by 20 correlation matrix. Not really that big. This is something that should fit on one page. Uh, so here we've got the output and you can't really, it's just a square 20 by 20, it's kinda big but that's something you should fit in a landscape um, piece of, uh, one piece of paper in my opinion, especially if you get rid of the end sizes and the like. Uh, but if you print this and let's see if this, I don't know if you're really gonna be able to see this, but if you print a 20 by 20 correlation matrix you'll know what I mean. Here's what the print preview does and hopefully you can actually see what I'm talking about if you're not entirely sure. Alright, so this is what SPSS is producing for page one in the output. Um, so it's going up to the fifth is going up to the fifth variable and then it, on the next page it's printing uh, items 6 to 10 and then the next page is 11 to 15 next page is 16 to 20. Now I don't know if that's exactly how it's going to work out. Well, SPSS says it's saying it's going to have four pages of output. So that's extremely excessive for a, a 20 by 20 correlation matrix. So what do we do to force SPSS to print out one page? Double click on the table of interest and then right click. You're good. It's going to open up another win window and then right click that and then go into table properties and then go to printing and then re click on rescale wide table for, to fit page and rescale long table to fit page. All right, so those are the two things you have to select and then click apply and then click OK. Now if you print this to a printer it will print, it will force it to one page. Now let's see if that's what it looks like uh, when I go to print preview. Um, let's hope it does work. Yes, so you probably can't really see that very well but there's a square correlation matrix here. These are where the ones are and you can see a, a uh, a trend of you know a space in there because it's uh, that's the correlation between the, the, the variable and self. So this is forcing it uh, to one page. Actually, if I zoom in, you'll be able to see it. So we've got variables one. Oh, it's going to be very slow. So it goes from variable one all the way to variable twenty, and it's all on one page. It's page one. All right, so that's how you force a table to fit one page in SPSS and save the environment. 